someone's gonna have to help me with this. But you get the idea. It's a oh, work. It's a working. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look like a child made this, Brad. Oh, I botched this. I need like a pencil. Wait till the art team sees this. Look at how jacked I am. Whoa, I, I messed up. All right, guys, we've got a special video today. We're down here in Delaware. All right, we're in Delaware. Hi. I'm in Delaware. We're meeting up my buddy Sam, owner and founder of Dogfish Head Brewery. I've known them for beer, but recently they got an awesome team and they got in the spirits, cocktails. I've kind of turned into a bit of a cocktail guy myself. So me and Sam, we've got a couple ideas. We're gonna try to come up with a really special cocktail. And if we nail it, you guys are gonna be able to come down to these facilities, buy them, share them. But first we got a little bit of work to do. We gotta figure this baby out. Let's not get ahead of the cart, baby. I'm a jaywalk, 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 jaywalk. jaywalk. Here we are. Yeah, nice spot, man. Hey, man, Brad. Brad, Brian. Ryan. Nice to meet you, Brad. Nice to meet you, man. Brad. Check it out. Yeah. Good to see you, Ryan. So this is Chesapeake and Maine. This is our geographically enamored seafood restaurant. And our little laboratory of uh, experimentation in the world of cocktails. You are going to be crucial in this. I'm glad you're here working with Dogfish for a while. Yeah, yeah. I've been here for a few months now, actually, uh, but definitely been in the world of mixology for many years now. You're going to arm us with different kinds of weapons, and we're going to choose our weapon. Our Ingredient armory. That's it, you are yeah. ingredient armory. We wanna make something not just that we're gonna like, yeah. but like, you know, to share. And nautically theme, right? You love the water, we love the water. I think that's the vibe. I think we wanna create something that would sit gracefully in the cooler on a boat for people who wanted cocktail vibes. That sounds great to me. I, I'm closing my eyes right now. I'm on my little boat, yeah. right? The, the kids are kicking around maybe. Right. Just something cool, I'm picturing ice cubes. Yeah. Super easy to make. Or maybe just East Coast, kind of, yeah, maybe yeah. when we go down this road of ingredients and profiles. Well, yeah. I can tell you right now, strawberries are in season. I got a strawberry syrup right here that we could play around with oh, a little put bit. A, put a little nose on that. Fresh me. I used to live in this old farmhouse with some friends in New Jersey. The field I would go down to get to my house on Route 94, there was this like 20 acre strawberry farm. Opened the windows and it was the sweetest smell, like a ripe mm. strawberry, like the, the essence of a strawberry. It, you know, it takes you back to a place in your life when you have certain smells. I like that, all right. Yeah. And it's a gorgeous color. We want you know the color to also be a party platform and say it's but gonna that's... be smart but handsome. Yeah, heck yeah, just like us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, passion fruit is one of my favorite flavors to play with. Mm, right. So I've got Hello. a fresh made passion fruit honey syrup. Another thing that we have fresh that I got a little bit of might really make this pop is some raspberry syrup as well that we right. cook in a vanilla yeah. syrup. It's really all about making that balance happen with a cocktail. It's not about having too much of one ingredient taken over the other, especially when it's a spirit forward uh, kind of cocktail. Oh, so yeah. It tastes like the best like jelly from a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at summer camp is what that tastes That's like. That's what dreams are made of. And yeah. I got something else here that is kind of really out there. It's hard to play with. We're with this you. is Paw Paw fruit. That's my guy. Little fun fact, Paw Paw, yeah. is I believe the northernmost growing uh, tropical fruit in maybe the world if not North America. The first time I ever had it, it like blew me away. You can almost like, you can't believe it grows in you know in North America. Flavor is like pineapple meets banana meets mm. mango. Is there alcohol in this, Ryan? Yeah, I hope so, Bill. Is there alcohol in there? There is, so it's Ooh. cordial. Essentially, I took a unaged whiskey because I really wanted to pick mm, up on some of those dog. banana esters that are in an unaged whiskey uh, and pick that up into the pawpaw fruit. So Very I, complimentive there. So all that tropical kind of mystery, that's the pawpaw. That's the pop All right, we found the cocktail. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Wrap it up. <laughs> up. <laughs> Spectrum of colors is beautiful, and there's one that I'm thinking just darker than this, which would be pomegranate juice. Yeah, that's pomegranate. a good idea, man. Sitting Something that here. just really can pop some red. You add a little bit of that paw paw to it, it's gonna dilute that that pigment, right? Right. Where would you want to start with like a, turning this into something that we could, what, put this in a bottle maybe? I'd so, say the first thing I would work on is getting the base of that flavor started. Obviously some sort of spirit alcohol is gonna go into this cocktail, so that's the last thing we want to really worry about. We could get like four snifter glasses and then let's just start Something thinking about different fruits. I mean, I'm kind of dying to kind of make Paw Paw work. Yeah. Just because I'm just such a fan. Then let's say Paw Paw's got to be one of them, which means we're going to put this Papa in all these glasses. Hey, is this making your eyes twitch? And should we be measuring things? I'm. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, I think you did a great I job. Can, I can taste what you guys come up with and pretty much break it down from there. Just have at it at this point. Papa's in. I mean, what's going in with it, Brad? 
That's, I mean, that's passion good. fruit's a classic, but it's like, I don't think we need it. Mm. It's too much of a wild card, it's exotic. We got our own exotic. We want two fruits forward and perhaps two spirits forward as well. We're like talking that. about the whis white whiskey and rum. My gut says pawpaw strawberry. Okay, let's try it. And uh, maybe a little back scent of palm. Hold on, that's kind of. That's beautiful. So right now the ratio is probably three quarters of the pawpaw, one quarter of strawberry in that one. Dots. Needs heat. But we Needs know that. Heat. We know that. That's good. Watch that's this. Good. Watch okay. this. Watch the color change. Start small. That was pretty. Got sure. a little lemon juice. All right, hit me with a little acid. A little citrus. Down some of the sweet. A little citrus. There some we go. That's a good idea, chef. I'll brighten up the color. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that popped it. I even just licking just the smell in it. You go. I already almost got a taste. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's so good. Meow. You're going to well, be adding some amber rum, to that. Gun. What about rum? Now, yeah, hit it with a little rum. Rum coming the... right from the distillery. I want you guys to be careful. We're going to go blind? A little more navy proof as opposed to our typical 80 proof. Oh, Definitely go a little like easier. Like 100-ish proof? A little more. Oh. Yeah, yeah, buck 10, 108. Uh, 117. High octane. <laughs> yep. Three quarter of an ounce. Right in the cocktail. Oh yeah, okay. Kind of like what it did with the color. Gave it a little like orange complexity, a little yeah. hue. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Bobby, you're gonna like this, Bobby. Oh jeez, man. Oh god, yeah. oh god. We're gonna sell 25 million of these. Oh my goodness. You Tropical could be anywhere island. in the world. Tropical island. There you do you have go. any seltzer water? I do. A little salty. Yeah. A little salty, add little some dilution water. to it. Let's okay. see what that does. You're day drinking, you're extending the fun time. Mm, even a little, a little hit of seltz. Yeah. Imagine some ice. This is a big deal here. I'm really excited about this. Strawberry, pawpaw, a little hit of lime, a little bit of pomegranate. We got two spirits. Absolutely, we yeah. got an unaged whiskey to help bring out those banana notes of the pawpaw, and then a little uh, aged rum. And I like Overproof can... navy rum, which is nautical themed in itself. Yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect. Nailed it! Yeah. Well, heck, now we got the hard part, Yes. to be honest. Art. It's all fun and games until you gotta go naming something. You can't force creativity. Right? Things just, I mean, it's gonna happen naturally. I always wanted to check out that tree fort you got at the other oh, location. Oh, the, the, the steampunk tree hut? Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's, Let's take bring some cocktails and go do an arts and crafts experiment yeah, in yeah, a yeah. freaking adult tree hut. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna call it work. Well, there's the tree house. <laughs> Sam! Fred! Nice gotta, tree house, bud. Come on, you got all the goodies? I got the goods, let's go, we got work to do. I'll meet you around the back of the tree house. All right, throw all of those in the bucket, I'll haul them up. Hi, right, Captain. Do you know any good sea shanties? No, <laughs> I wish. Pine cone for good luck. Nice. All right, come around the stairs. We are at the Dogfish Head Base Camp. This is our big commercial brewery, and this is our steampunk treehouse. You can see this is a man wave from Oakland, California. So there's this group of amazing artists in the Bay Area who originally built this treehouse to be at Burning Man. And so you can imagine the debauchery and creativity that occurred in this through the years, and we're gonna add to that today. Heck yeah. Look at the color on that, huh? I love it. I'm gonna try and put a strawberry garnish on a little splash of white. You got the white whiskey. Well, I ball there, that. Right? We don't need to measure in the treehouse, bud. Look at that. I'm not mad at it. Huh? Cheers, man. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. The two hero fruits are definitely strawberry and pawpaw, but that bright note of this lemon citrus is just beautiful. Just like cooking, you need a little bit of that acid to make them flavors kind of pop. Now the hard part. We got to come up with a label and a name. I have a love for nautical maps, and I saw you got a bunch of them yeah, all over. Yeah. Maybe like the background is just like a fun nautical chart map. Yeah, let's do that. Let's the, do a scroll. Like it'll be like a fake pirate's map. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. a label. What if we like sure. turned them into like old sailor like tattoo art or something? Yeah. Maybe you're a strawberry, I'm a, I'm a pawpaw. Paw. Now we, we're gonna personify the key fruit. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, so. you're papa, and I'll be Captain Strawberry. Captain, oh, Captain Strawberry. Yeah. I'll have an earring, and on my arm I'll have a tattoo of a muskrat. And we're like, we're like giving each other like a sailor's grasp. You know, it's like this. Yeah, getting them on. You're like Tough. you're each other on a boat. We'll look jacked. And we're gonna be wicked jacked. Is that gonna be your body as a pop yeah. pop? I'll have my little piratey kind of do rag on. Do rag Gonna be a little bit shorter than you. Someone's gonna have to help me with this. But you get the idea. It's a work. It's a working. Oh yeah. 
Oh my God, look like a child made this bread. Oh, I botched this. I need like a pencil. Okay. And then here, ex wives <laughs> and lovers. In alphabetical order. Going down, cross that. We know the art team sees this. My pit as abs, big muscles. Look at how jacked I am. Dude, whoa, I, I messed up. Our team's gonna be like, you guys rule. I guess anchor tat. Dang, yep. Like we'll have like some coastline going here. The contours of like the land. What do you think, nailed it? Huh? Captain Strawberry and the Paul Paul <laughs> Perfect as is, even better with your twist. Arr. Ooh. If we sell, oh. 100,000 cases of our Pawberry cocktail someday, will you agree to get this tattoo? I'll get a version, if not this one, of the Paw Paw Pirate yeah. on my ass cheek. Okay, me too. I'll get one on your ass cheek too. <laughs> Deal! <laughs> we, did we did it! We did a good first round. Again, we did it. I'm sure we're gonna get some emails from a lot of folks saying a lot of things, but you know what? Come and get us, our. All right, Sam, I tell you what. Nailed the creative label. I think totally. that's ready for the print. Uh, it speaks for itself. I mean, ship it. But really, this is just the beginning. Yeah, now the hard work really begins. We're gonna go see Marge and Darren in the distillery, and they're the ones that are gonna have to take our dinghy of an idea right. and turn it into a super yacht. Here's Captain Barry Arr. Are you kidding me? That's a good one. <laughs> This is Darren, hey. and this is Marge. Darren runs the joint. Yeah. Marge is the, our only Pleasure. distiller, musician, thespian in the whole company, with that, that yeah. slash title. Well, thanks, guys. So to meet you. You know, me and Sam had a heck of a day. We were out there developing a cocktail and uh, came up with a really fun label. It is, it's awesome. A, a rough draft, but we're, rough, we're, we're gonna give it to the design rough. team. Well, let's show them how. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's me. Yeah. You can't tell by those rip, the ripped abs. Oh, okay. But I'm um, the Paw Paw Pirate, because that's gonna be one of our lead fruits. And then we got Captain Strawberry. But that's that's gonna be the Marge Pirate Parrot. It looks like he's holding a knife. Yeah, yeah no, there's a lot of stuff going on. That's All a right. ukulele, actually. I'm gonna be peeing like a spare. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Things happen. It's called watercolor. The Adventures of the Paw Paw Pirate and Captain Strawberry. Working title is the Paw Berry Cocktail. And the spirits that we landed on, boom! Right here. Right. So do you want to tell us about the, the key spirits in our Paw Berry Cocktail? So this is our barrel aged drum. We distilled this from grade A fancy molasses. And we're doing overproof, navy style. We are. So, uh, at least 100, 114 proof. Bear honey rum is what this is based on. So Marge will tell you about the, the whiskey that we're using in the sure. cocktail. So the whiskey that we're using for this cocktail, so it's actually one of the threads that goes into our Holen Helm whiskey. However, this is a white whiskey, so this does not actually go into a barrel. So this is right off the still. It's moonshine. It's okay. moonshine. The base of our cocktail is moonshine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it, man. Don't get the pirate going. Or <laughs> I think we did a great job. We definitely handed you a little bit of a, well, thanks guys, turn that into something. I don't need a better map than that. Turn that into something. Awesome, right? <laughs> you got this. It's in your hands now, literally. Cap strawberry to the boat there. <laughs> <laughs> Where the spirits do the talking more a friendly embrace and less of a haunting. I tell you what, Captain Strawberry, we, we put it together, man. We, we got our flavor profile nailed down. Uh, we got the team at work making our dreams so come good. true. If you get a chance, guys, make it down to beautiful Delaware. Check out the facilities. These cocktails are going to be available. Thank you again and your whole team, man, for opening it up to me and my team coming down here. It's been an adventure, and, uh, and now everyone's coming on the adventure with us. And you know what? I, uh, permission to come aboard there, Captain Strawberry. Uh, Pop Pop Pirate? Yeah! Not unless you put this hat on. Oh, man, I right? thought you'd never ask. If I feel like I graduated captain. college for the You're first. You're a deputy captain. I'm captainizing you. Is that a thing? Oh, it is now, Bobby. <laughs> boys in, boys! When the hurricane's blowing and it's shaking the rafters, enjoy a strawberry twist and a papa hereafter. Sweet copper dew made in the Sunniest afternoon. Ain't it funny? It's called moonshine. 
moonshine.